The nice thing about our lot is that there were a lot more trees here when the house was built. So the house was kind of built in between trees. Mm -hmm. And over time, a lot of those trees died off or were taken out because of disease. And it left a lot more uh, space to build on. See here? Where your island was down there was at least three trees. Um, and there were stumps there. Gone. But the fire burnt the stumps out and they rotted. So between the fire and the rot, there's no stumps here anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you take a bulldozer and you excavate this out and you level it off, it gives you much more level ground to build on. I think I'm going to get Dave's tractor put his front end loader on it and come over here and move some bricks with that. I'm just hoping. We put all the bricks on that and move them where we want them. Well, I want them somewhere close to the build because they will come in handy for things like porches and fireplaces or not fireplaces but uh, barbecues, pathways. We have a pretty good stack right there, a nice stack right over there, and then this stack right here, plus a bunch around the water tank. This PID is the one that's kind of bothering me that they're taking so long to do their water test. I've already paid for the anti-siphon valve, so I guess this thing needs to be moved over to about there. Right about here. Let's see, right there. From here. Dave's not too excited about moving it. Oh, is it pretty deep in there? Must be. Must be. Little sound effects there. <laughs> hmm. And then we have a little pile of bricks right here, so we have a few bricks. <laughs> 